Well, this is my birthday, and we put our bag on the train, and we noticed that someone kind of befriended us on the train and helped us a little bit get our bags on. Well, he shook our hands, and now in hindsight, I realized when he shook our hands, his other hand was on top grabbing our bag, and he got off at the next stop. Well, we had no idea. When we get off at the next stop where we're supposed to be, we realize our bag is gone. Wow. And it had the master and the backup for all of this footage that we've been shooting and all of these stories. And quite possibly, I think at the time, the largest job we had ever had. So we were done. We literally, in that moment, like my wife is crying there at the train terminal. And we were just like, we don't know what to do. And now here is singer, songwriter, broadcaster, audio video artist, entertainment agent, and your host. It's the master storyteller himself, James Kevin O'Connor. Hey, 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 we're on our way. Hello, 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 my friends. Thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, So glad for the comments you guys have made about the YouTube channel and the videos that we're doing on this podcast. Thank you so much. And there's a link in the show notes. Would you please subscribe? And I thank you very kindly for doing so. Hey, today we are in Tennessee. Actually, we're doing this broadcast in Salt Lake City, but the guest is from Tennessee, very close to where I used to live, Franklin, Tennessee, a really joyous place to live. This gentleman, he's helped brands like Winnebago, Shipped, Williams-Sonoma, as well as top-notch authors like Amy Porterfield, Michael Hyatt, Marie Forleo, create content that's both engaging and effective. When he's not busy being a content mastermind, you can find him flying the friendly skies. He loves to fly. He's a filmmaker, and with his innovative ideas and impeccable time management skills, he is a true jack of all trades. So we're going to have a good time today. So get ready, strap up your seatbelts. We're taking a ride to Salt Lake City to hang out with Wes Wages. So we're here in Salt Lake City, and... um, we were talking with uh, Wes about his brand and what he does uh, in the world of video and working with other brands and bringing them to the top of the heap. Yeah. So um, why don't we start with uh, the way you got into where you are now. And you went from, like, I don't know how you started, but you're working some, with some really high-level clients, uh, all the people we talked about earlier, Marie Forleo, um, uh, Who's Amy was, Porterfield, Michael and, Hyatt? Yeah, and uh, I'm like I, I'm on all their email lists. <laughs> yeah, good. <you> know? <laughs> so uh, you know, these are real pioneers in the space of um, you know building brands that um, just are incredible brands um, that reach so many people. Yeah. So how did you get into the space that you're in, um, especially in video? Yeah. Working in that area. So uh, I was the annoying kid in high school who had a little camera and I was filming little videos, stupid videos in the youth group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, So that's kind of how I got a camera. And then I'm like, well, this is kind of fun. So I majored with that in college uh, and then worked in the ministry for a while doing video work. Um, And then my wife hired me into her business. So she started it. Uh, She shot weddings. And then one day she was like, hey. I'm making enough money. You need to come over. And so I applied. I I did get the job. Um, I beat a few other people out, you know. Yeah. (laughs) But um, around that same time, uh, my wife had her wisdom teeth out as well. And we turned it in. I turned it into America's Funniest Videos. We won $10,000 on America's Funniest Videos. And that gave us uh, some money to kind of help start the business. Wow. And so, um, we, yeah, we won the, the 10000 but the 100000 we lost because we lost to a baby, which, oh, you know, if, you, if you're creating content now, you just need to have babies and dogs because yeah. th- those are the things give you. That's unfair. Yeah, it, it really is, <laughs> especially as a 39-year-old. I'm like, listen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we started the business, uh, and my wife and I traveled the world, um, which was a really fun time before children. 
Uh, and then kids came along and we kind of stopped shooting weddings and we kind of grew the video business. And so now we have Armosa Studios. We have a team of nine and we shoot content for online entrepreneurs, a lot of authors, and we create content outside of their books. And then we shoot uh, brand videos for, you know, Winnebago, Williams, Sonoma, Shipped, uh, Toyota, like we have a lot of clients there. Yeah, awesome. Um, when you first started this, had you any idea that you would end up in this space, like when you first started? Um, n not necessarily. You know, it has been one step in front of the other. Yeah. You know? Right. And it's honestly, like, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And I would say I mean, there, are, there are hard times, too. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Like, right. I mean, owning a business is not for the faint of heart. Yeah. Uh, there are ups and downs constantly. But... No, it's been really fun. We just, just kind of took the next step, took the next job. And yeah. then kind of, I think at the end of the day, we've always taken care of people. Um, and even if that means that we've lost money we've or we've had to challenge ourselves, we still do it. Yeah. So it's just a big part of us and who we are, just taking care of the customer there. You shared a great story about going to Europe to... Oh, gosh. To uh, broadcast or to to you know document with video Maria Forleo mm -hmm. and then lost all of the footage that got stolen. Yeah, like, was... and it sounded like a big project. Like it was. Oh wild. yeah, so we had we had shot in New York for Marie uh, for an event there, recorded everything, you know, and then immediately after that we went to Europe to shoot stories for B School. And B School is her online program teaching yeah. business students. Right. Um, Crazy successful program, and we this was a great job. I mean, like, we yeah. were just on cloud nine, we were getting to travel through Europe with my wife and like shoot these amazing stories of these women who had like started their business, gone through B school, and their whole business was transformed. We get to, um, we basically finish the job, their producer flies home, my wife and I are in Rome, and we take the train to the cruise terminal because we're about to go on a 10 day trip to like Turkey, Israel, and Egypt. Once in a lifetime trip that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, this is my birthday and we put our bag on the train and we noticed that someone kind of befriended us on the train and helped us a little bit get our bags on. Well, he shook our hands and now in hindsight, I realized when he shook our hands, his other hand was on top grabbing our bag and he got off at the next stop. Well, we had no idea. When we get off at the next stop where we're supposed to be, we realize our bag is gone. Wow. And it had the master and the backup for all of this footage that we've been shooting and all of these stories. And quite possibly, I think at the time, the largest job we had ever had. So we were done. We literally, in that moment, like my wife is crying there at the train terminal. And we were just like, we don't know what to do. Like in this moment, like literally our business could be completely done with right now. Yeah. Um, and you were about to go on the next leg of your vacation. We were. So what do you do right oh, there? Do that's you, heartbreaking. do you make the decision to like get on this ship where you're not going to have contact with anybody for 10 days, you know? Yeah. Or do you get on the ship and call the client immediately? Or do you just not get on the ship and go back and reshoot all the stuff? Yeah. Like, what do you do? Well, in that decision, I made the choice of like, hey, you know what? We're not going to have this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. Yeah. We need to take this trip. And in 10 days, we're going to come back and we're going to call and we're going to let the client know what happened. But one thing I've learned in this is you never let a, you never let anyone, you never present a problem without a solution. Yeah. So we called our client Marie and we said, hey, here's what happened. And our solution is that we're going to go back and shoot all of these things over on our own dime. And of course we lost money on that, right? Yeah. But we gained the client and she hired us back the next year in another time. Like, so all in all, like we learned a lot on that and that thing, mistakes happen, things happen. Just have the solution to the problem when you're in need. Yeah. And actually there's a really good rule right now that I've, I've heard about is it's a one, three, one. So whenever you're presented with a problem, you have three solutions and then whoever you're telling this to, you tell them what solution you would choose. So for instance, if this is your kid or if this is an employee, they come to you with a problem. Well, they have to have three solutions to it and they have to tell me which solution they would choose. Nice. Not, not easy to teach to a four-year-old, no. you know, yeah. <laughs> but if that's one thing I can teach my kids before they leave my home, like I really, I hope I can. Yeah. That is such sage uh, advice. It's really great. I used to do that um, when I was in the construction industry years ago. I would never call up a client. I'd 
wait and wait and wait until I had a solution to yeah. say, you know, you just don't go to someone with a problem. You go, you, this is my job. If I'm building your whatever I'm building, yeah. I'm supposed to build the whole thing. With yeah. mistakes, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to be, be the solution. Uh, Present good news quick and bad news quicker. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Um, I want to ask you, Wes, how did you get to these um, very, very notable clients? What was your process for reaching out? Um, did you have like one project finished after another where you just like scaled a ladder saying, hey, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for that? Was it um, people uh, evangelizing your brand? What was it that helped you get to um, this level of clientele? 100% referrals. Okay. It's meeting someone, going to events, shaking hands, getting to know people, and then always offering a helping hand in any way. Right. Um, and then those are the people that would always present my wife and I to other clients. Um, for instance, Winnebago, you know, not the largest RV manufacturer, but one of the largest, but yeah. very well-known brand. Um, we had some, we were shooting an event one time in Portland, Oregon, and somebody messaged me and said, Hey, I'd love to help out on your video team. I didn't need volunteers. Yeah. We had a crew that were paid, you know, right. but I was like, cool. If you want to do this, that's okay. Yeah. Well, I met that guy and his wife, um, well, they ended up getting us a job with Winnebago. That was one of the greatest jobs we'd ever had in our lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just saying yes and saying, hey, how can I help someone else? Right. And I think inevitably it's going to come back to you tenfold. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Really, yeah. really awesome. What are your plans for the future with your business? Yeah, that's yeah. an interesting question. Yeah. <laughs> like five-year plan, you know, looking down the road, where do you see your, you guys going? Uh, because I don't get the feeling that you seem somewhat goal oriented in that, you know, you've ch achieved a lot in a short amount of time and having a goal makes you grow. Totally. You know, um, my goal is to be an airline pilot. All right. So, which is completely opposite of kind of what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So, you know, my wife and I have built this business. Um, we're employing families right now. Um, and ultimately I want to take care of them. That's the whole goal is the employees. Right. Um, but I think there'll be an exit strategy for us at some point. So, you know, whether that's, we stay in as an owner, uh, and divide shares up between employees or that we completely just exit and sell. Yeah. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but you know, we've been doing this a while and I absolutely love it and I love taking care of us yeah. and it's been such an amazing journey. Um, but also since I was a small kid, I've been fascinated by aviation. I have my pilot's license. I'm getting my instrument. And, um, so I think it's time to pursue that. Yeah. And so I'm very thankful that we've had this job that we can kind of do that. And it set us up for success in that. You know, you look like an airline pilot. Really? Yeah, you got the stripes there. It's almost <laughs> like a uniform. If you had the hat, you'd be complete. Man. Yeah, I need to, you know, here's one. I'm not yeah. touching these hats, yeah. though. These are, but uh, yeah, it's, you know, I mean, I, I love people and I think airlines would be really fun. Um, pilots are paid well. Yeah. And I think it could be the next career. And if that doesn't work out, I'm still doing the thing. Uh, cool, but... I have to go for it. Yeah. And my wife is 150% on board with that. Wow. And, you know, the planes that they're making now, you know, it's, it's, it almost seems like the new generations are starting to come out. Yeah. Or the newer planes that look just like crazy magnificent. Oh, they're know? amazing. Yeah. I mean, just an, an airplane flying through the sky is pretty magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. You, so. you know, I still um, marvel at it. Like when I look at it and say, how do how do we do that? You know, yeah, it's just all that weight and steel, and it's just like floating on air. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So how many uh, kids do you have? I have four kids. Oh, awesome. Nine, seven, six, four. Wow. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's a busy household. My wife's a CEO as well. Oh, okay. And so um, we're a dual CEO, four kid home right now. Yeah. And um, it's busy, but um, really thankful. Like one of the things we want to show our kids is that like, hey do what you want to do and you don't have to go down the typical career path right. where you're unhappy. 
And that's what this business has allowed in any own type of online business. I mean, like, that's what it gives you the freedom to do. It's a lifestyle business. Yeah. So. Fun in Tennessee? Yeah. It's like been it, it's been really great. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. such a great state. I really love it. Yeah. We've, uh, we live in a neighborhood now that's like the kids go around and play and like, that's just a gift, honestly, that, that they can just have a great time and lots of other kids in the neighborhood. Yeah. Who should we um, um, look for to connect you to? Like, speaking to the people out there, what kind of people, besides the people we described earlier, uh, best client for you to serve with what you do? Uh, If you know your audience and you're making some money through that, then that's pretty much it. Um, I would say that if you're doing some type of online courses, Uh, you're running online businesses, we can benefit you by creating some type of content. Um, And if you're doing over, you know, probably 250 to 500 K, that's probably a threshold uh, that you would want to invest into something with us. Okay. And best place to reach you. Yeah. uh, Armosastudios.com. A-R-M-O-S-A studios with an S.com. Awesome. Yep. Um, Any last minute, um, pearls of wisdom you'd like to give out there and i'd like you to to pitch this to like people like yourself who are early filmmakers maybe maybe it's a 13 year old and he's loves doing videos yeah i love that what would you what would you say to them to just inspire them to adopt a career like you have yeah i would use your phone Don't feel like you have to go out and get a new camera. Use your phone and create content and post that content and get people's reactions and find a mentor. So upload some, tell some stories through video, however you can edit it on your phone, upload it to YouTube, um, be proactive about getting people's responses and then just find a mentor. Anybody that's doing video at a different level than you, you can learn from, um, And that's one thing I really feel passionate about. I'm actually um, educating other filmmakers as well. We've been uh, blessed in our business to have like great employees and I've learned a lot about HR. I'm now the CEO, so I don't really touch a camera anymore because we have people that are way better than I am to do that stuff. Um, But I am educating other filmmakers and video professionals in their businesses right now as well. Right. And so I lead them through um, a mastermind type event. And then uh, so I can kind of continue on the education that I've learned to other people. Excellent. Yeah. We will put all of the links uh, for Wes and his company in the show notes. And Wes, I just want to wish all God's blessings on you, your family, and your career moving forward. Thanks Man. for being here. Dude, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Hey, if you guys like what's going on here, please leave a great review in the Apple Podcasts. I've left a simple review process in the show notes and we'd really appreciate it. And also, don't be shy. Forward this to your best friend because you know they need it. Hey, if you need some coaching, hit up the link in the show notes. It's calendly.com forward slash dharmic. And you can take a little chance with me and I'll get you on your way. That's a wrap for me today. I'm your host, James Kevin O'Connor. So until the next time, when we meet again, I'll either see you on the socials or I'll see you from the stage. Ride on, ride on, baby, won't you take a ride with me? Ride on, ride on, we can untangle all the mystery. If wishes were windows, I'd open one and find That freedom is really a simple state of mind So ride on, ride on, baby, won't you take a ride with me? Ride on, ride on, we can untangle all the mystery Ride on, ride on, baby, baby, you and I can find the key Ride on, ride on, we can unlock each other's destiny I taste the breeze of freedom, it's tingling on my tongue Take a ride with me
that you've never seen I'll take you places that you never dreamed I'll take you places that were pictures in your mind I'll take you places 